Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. Although we got tornado warnings today, we did not receive any tornadoes or any storm damage, so we're fortunate for that. So we're just going to take a quick walk through the neighborhood, look at some flowers, look at some raindrops, and let our imagination just run wild. So with that being said, pick up your camera, make sure you also pick up your imagination, and come along with me. This flower is a perfect example that we can live by. Through all the storms, it has survived. You can survive through the storms. To some people, this is just an ugly weed. To others, it's a magnificent flower. What is it to you? Again, what do you see? Just a weed? A wonder of nature's beautiful creations. This flower is still hanging on through multiple storms and multiple late season freezes. It should be an example to all of us that no matter what is thrown our way, we can make it. This and other flowers can be an example for life. They survive the storms and the freeze and they're still here. You can survive the storms. You can make it. You can still do it. I have a question. Is the raindrop supported on the leaf or is the raindrop holding up the leaf? I have another question. Did the spider web capture the raindrop or is the raindrop capturing the spider's web? It is said the answer is blowing in the wind. What answer do you hear? It has been said there's an entire universe inside of a raindrop. Well, think about it. Here on Earth, aren't we just a raindrop inside the universe? A different raindrop, a different universe. I wonder what we would find if we could explore inside it. Tell me, what do you see? Five individual raindrops or a family just spaced apart. And before I go, one childhood memory. If you grew up in the South, these were called honeysuckles. Do you remember pulling out the center, getting that sweet nectar? I do, and I think I'd do it again. Well, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this short walk through my neighborhood, through my imagination. Now I want you to go down to the comments and tell me what you saw in your neighborhood just using your imagination, of course, your camera. And while you're down there, hit the thumbs up button so it motivates me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down. But just tell me why you don't like it, because guess what? That will also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them the next time. Because, you know, you've heard me say it before, and I will continue to say it. No one knows it all when it comes to photography. And of course, the more you learn about photography, the more you learn, you didn't know. And I'm going to tell you again, again, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey through my imagination. And I will see you next time.